Hello there and welcome to our presentation on the new version of TKO Business Modeler. We'll get started today with just showing you how quick you can get to the stage of publishing in TKO and getting started with TKO. So we'll begin by opening a database which is the default one that comes with TKO. It takes us to our main screen and you can see in the main screen we have six icons which take us to various sections of the system. Um, from here you can pick which area you want to work with. Today we're just going to show you how quickly you can get into starting up your own business and customizing the template that comes with TKO. So the first step we go here to organizational details. We enter in the name of our company and let's call it XYZ Limited. We save that. We'll just close that off. We won't put any more detail. We'll go straight to policies and procedures and here you'll see the navigation grid on the left hand side showing all the policies and procedures that come with TKO Business Modeler and there's approximately three to four hundred in here together with attached files that link to other external Word documents, spreadsheets etc. So obviously that's a lot to take in. So what we suggest is you simply do this to get started. Obviously these documents need to be customised to your own business. So the first step we do is come across here and we go untag all. And what untagging means is that if we now do a publish, none of these policies and procedures will be published. So what we do, we pick an area that we want to work on. And let's say critical to your company at the moment is that you want to get some finance policies and procedures done. And let's say, for instance, we go to the finance department here and we go to the accounts receiver. And let's say this is a pressing need at the moment that you just want to uh, get these documents done and published. So what we suggest is that you come in here, you pick a document or an area and you simply see the document on the right, you click the left, uh, the edit button on the left here, brings up the editor which is a word processor and you can add, change, do whatever you need to do to customise that document, insert pictures, you can even create a flow chart. We won't go into that at the moment, but let's say we've made some changes and we've customised it. We simply save and close. And now that we've done that, we can tag it just by double clicking on it. And let's say we go to this record as well. We double click that, double click that, double click that. So today we've done four documents. And you could say, well, let's wait till we get all of them done. But I suggest don't wait. Publish as you do them. And the simple way to do that is that we now come up to the publish button brings up our publish screen and let's say we wanted to publish to a our own local website on our network server. All we do is click on web pages and at the moment I'm only I could select other sections but I'm just going to select policies and procedures because that's all we've worked on at the moment. And I'll just say no to that. And I'm now going to pick a location to publish this to. And because we want to store it on a location that all users in the office can actually see, it needs to go on a network drive. And at the moment I have mine going to this folder on the network drive. And you can choose another folder and obviously set this up. It does need to be a map network drive folder. So let's go ahead and now publish. We go build and run. Okay, it's finished and now we'll just go open selected. And there's our published output. We've still got a few things to customise, such as the name of the output. But as you can see, I'll just bring that in a bit. As you can see, it has published those four documents. There we go. I'll close that off or we'll minimise that. Close this. Okay, so time goes on and let's say tomorrow we do some more work and we might go to these documents here and we do customise these and tag them off as we customise. Also we might add a new record in and I'll simply do that now. I'll just come up here to insert new and I'll just call it test for the moment just to show you how to do it. You just put a name in here and you save and you click edit. We have a blank screen there. What we need to do, we can either type away or we we can um, copy from a Word document and paste in here, or we can use our own sample layout, which is this hyperlink here. If we 
click on that, it just brings in a sample layout that we can start our document with. It gives us some headings to uh, work with. And let's say we've customised this document, we just simply save it, close it off, and then I'll tag that one as well. So now we've done another five documents today, let's go and publish them. So again we go straight back to publish, I click build and run again, and there it is again, it's published our website, and this will be available for all people in your business. And as you can see, there are the extras that we put in. There's the test record that I put in just before. That's as simple as it is. Also, we could customise the home page because it's set as the default at the moment. So what we do, come down here to set up some configuration, web edit home page, and I'll just put in here our company, XYZ Limited. Now we could do something a lot jazzier here, we could put images in, whatever we wanted, but I'll just go with that at the moment, and save, and now I'll just go build and run again, and there we have it, we'll open it up, and as you can see there's our new home page, and there are our documents there. Thank you for that, and in later um, presentations we'll show you how to use the full features of TKO which will cover roles and job descriptions, key performance indicators. But one of the things to keep in mind with TKO, it is an authoring and it's a place to store your documents and it's a place to publish your documents. But you can pick the areas that you want to work with. So if you only work, want to work with policies and procedures for a start off, it's very simple to do that. We can go to roles and job descriptions. But we'll get to that in later videos. 